Good evening. Welcome to the city of West Miami. Today is Wednesday, February the 4th, 2015 at 7.32. For the uh, invocation, Ms. Aguilar, please rise. Thank you, and please rise. Let's bow our head and thank the Lord this evening for all the good things that we have each and every day. We pray for the ill and the frail in our city. We pray for world peace. And tonight we give you praise and glory for your presence is felt in this wonderful city. We ask that you bless our city employees, some who are recognized for their hard labor and love for our community. We pray for our servicemen and women in their assignment to protect us. We pray for our law enforcement personnel and firefighters each and every day. We pray for our elected officials and their families so that they can make decisions that have a positive impact in the lives of those whom they serve. We ask this in your name. Amen. 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 Captain, for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Roll call. Mayor Eduardo Mujinha. Present. Vice Mayor Juan Blanes. Present. Commissioner Candida Blanca. Yes. Commissioner Rhonda Rodriguez. Present. Commissioner okay. Luciana Suarez. Yes. Mayor, you have a quorum. Thank you. Can we take item four? Item four, presentation of minutes for approval for a January 21st, 2015 regular city commission meeting. Mayor Mujin and Commissioner Suarez abstain. Motion to approve, Mr. Mayor. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All in favor. Thank you. And at this point, I would like to take uh, out of order uh, new business item 11A. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Item 11, under new business agenda items, item 11A, presentation of Employee of the Year 2014 awards. This Thank is by Mayor and City Commission. Thank you. Uh, why are everybody so serious? <laughs> this is a happy moment. Actually, this is actually uh, the time where we recognize people uh, for their work, for, for uh, their standing work, and uh, so we should have a smile on our face, and uh, let's welcome that. Can you uh, read the first item, please? Yes, the first item is the presentation of award to Blanca Varela Marquez, Employee of the Year 2014 from the Community Center Department by Mayor and City Commission. Thank you. Uh, can I have the department head uh, please come up? Uh, of course. <laughs> you were hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn Mariah, Community Center Director. Good evening, Mayor. Morning, Marilyn. Members of the Commissioners. How are good you? Morning. I mean, good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's your speech for the morning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We need a long speech, okay? Oh, goodness. You guys enjoy this. Uh, my name is Marilyn Mirai. I'm the Director for the Community Center. Good morning. Um, I nominated Blanca Varela because Blanca is a loyal, honest, responsible person. She uh, interacts with the seniors very well. She's well liked in the center. And um, that's why I nominated her the Employee of the Year for the West Miami Community Center. Blanca? Thank you. Blanca. She Where would like Blanca? to say a few words too. Okay. Blan <laughs> Blanquita. <laughs> <laughs> You say she wants to say a few words first. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Please. Uh, you got me there. <laughs> okay, why don't we come forward, uh, our colleagues, to for the award. It's so serious today. What's going on? What's going on? Stop the music. <laughs> Somebody put the music on. <laughs> I brought my glasses. We're going to do this a little bit. I want you to read. Employee of the Year Award 2014 presented to Blanca Varela Marquez, Community Center Department, 
for your outstanding service in recognition of your commitment and improving the quality of life and display of leaders leadership. Congratulations. Sure. The next item. The next item is presentation of award to Rita Rodriguez, Employee of the Year for the Finance and Administration Department, Mayor and City Commission. Rita. <laughs> Rita's got a long speech. I um I would I'd like to uh, take a moment before you read the plaque to tell you why I selected Rita Rodriguez as the Employee of the Year for 2014. Rita has a passion for the city of West Miami, the same passion that she had since day one of her employment with the city, which dates back to June 3rd, 1985. It's, it's amazing. Her attendance record is impeccable, and she's lost many opportunities to take time off work with pay because she loves this city and appreciates her job and her work and her peers. Secondly, she has a great desire to help people who call the city by providing them with detailed information, follow up, and assist where possible. Some would call her personalized tactics old school. I call it walking the extra mile. Rita has taken on new technology challenges with time with the online banking systems and the pay online system features that we've developed using the web, the city's website. And any work assigned to Rita is always accomplished above and beyond what is asked of her. Her work is always uh, above satisfactory and for the, it is for these and many other reasons and because Rita wants to work here another 30 years with uh, Lieutenant Delgado <laughs> Miguel sorry you cannot have her um, it is for this and many other reasons that that Rita Rodriguez should be recognized for her love passion hard work and loyal dedication to the city of West Miami. Rita, congratulations for a job well done. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Question to her husband. What do you think? <laughs> what is you think? Great. I see you happy. All right. <laughs> I see you very happy there. Thank you. Come, come on over for, for a picture, please. Okay. No, no, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, I stood there for 42 years. 30 more years. <laughs> 30 more years, Miguel. <laughs> Behind every good woman, there's a good man. Huh? There you go. Employee of the Year, 2014, presented to Rita Rodriguez, Finance and Administration Department for your outstanding service and in recognition of your commitment to improving the quality of life and display of leadership. Congratulations, Mayor Eduardo H. Muina and the West Miami City Commission. Thank you. Thank you. Consider me, and I do love this city. There's hardly any city like this one. And uh, it has been a pleasure for me to work almost 30 years, and I hope to stay another 30 <laughs> <laughs> Because I, I, it's, uh, we're family, and I feel You're good here. We have been through good <laughs> and bad times. Can you say what you say? You're welcome to join the center for oh, some yeah. time. That's called I'm already <laughs> renting a space over there. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you all. Okay. And uh, you only for giving me the opportunity. Smile, please. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We go to the next one. <laughs> The next uh, award oh, is presentation of award to Sergeant Rafael Jimenez, Employee of the Year 2014 from the West Miami Police Department. <laughs> Chief Andrew will uh, talk about his nomination. 
Thank you. Um, Sergeant Jimenez is going to complete 30 years of service with the police department this December. Um, he's worked in practically every aspect in the police department during his tenure. Uh, he's closing uh, his career in, in high fashion. We can, the captain and the lieutenant and I can always count on Sergeant Jimenez when we give him a new task or when we ask questions of him. He runs uh, a lot of our individual projects today. We're very proud of him and he's very deserving of this award. And uh, I think this will probably be the last one you get, Ralph, before you, you leave in December. It's, an, it's a pleasure. <laughs> Police Department, you for do. your outstanding service and in recognition of your commitment to improving the quality of life and display of leadership. Congratulations. <laughs> the Wad Wade Community Mayor and the West Miami City Commission, dated this fourth day of February. Oh, well, 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 well. <laughs> Congratulations, Ralph. Just like you. Just like you, Ralph. Just like you. Pero they have the right to talk to you, aren't they? Ellos no han venido a hablar contigo, ¿no? No, 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 se está dando unos combinations tremendos. Él habló conmigo por teléfono, pero realmente el chico es este... ¿Dónde está? Es una vida en el departamento. Eso es hecho por el chico y el Public Works Director. ¿Ok? El siguiente award is the presentation of award to Rafael Montes de Oca, Employee of the Year 2014 from Public Works Department. Juan Pena will talk about his nomination <laughs> for this award. All dressed up. <laughs> Ralph is Mr. Casual. Ralph is... Ralph is one of our tenured employees. He has performed all of his duties assigned and receives minimal supervision for all his work. He was tasked with the repair of our water system leaks that have caused thousands of dollars in water loss and loss to our precious resource throughout the city. His efforts have been proven through a recent leak detection report showing minimal loss at this time. As you all know, our system is over 70 years old, and no matter what time of the night, what time of the day, Ralph is called, he's out here, and he puts the sinking ship back together. Ralph has uh, always exemplified in the work that he does, and you could always count on him to take care of whatever the problem is. Therefore, this year, I'm nominated Ralph as the Employee of the Year for 2014. Ralph is joined this evening uh, by his sister, who's also a part of our F West Miami family. China, please come up. His uh, brother-in-law, Jerry, and his girlfriend, please come up and join Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Panoramic picture. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. 
this room to a bed, Nuna? Yes. No. See, the beds were no. red at the last commission no. meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> See, but there's a lot of the signature page. Ella puede The next award is the presentation of award to Mercedes Soler, Employee of the Year 2014 from the Public Works Department, Administrative Support Staff. Congratulations, Mercy. Mr. Pena, can we talk about the nomination? Mr. Mayor, Commissioners, Mercy has shown great effort and attitude in carrying out the work of the, this department this year, or last year. She has performed all her duties assigned to her and receives, again, minimal supervision for her work duties. Mercy was challenged with the city developing our new building department and ensure a smooth transition from a big county government like Miami-Dade County system to our little city system. The accompl accomplishment by no stretch of the imagination was an easy task, nor has any other addition of service has been impactful, so impactful to the city and its residents. There is no greater service this year that has proven this beneficial to the property owners of the city of West Miami. I receive weekly, weekly praises from professionals, contractors, property owners alike for the efficient and complete service that Mercy delivers every day of the week. She has truly taken the coordination of the different levels of the responsibility that the issuance of a building permit entails in the building department. And for that reason, Mercy's are. Candid camera. Congratulations, Mercy. The next uh, presentation of award is to awarded to Jessica Perez, Employee of the Year 2014, West Miami Recreation Department Administrative Support. Welcome, Jessica. Good evening, Mayor, Commission, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jim Geswicki, Recreation Director for City of West Miami, and I'm very proud to nominate Jessica Perez for the Employee of the Year for the second straight year. Uh, Jessica has helped me in such ways that I don't think anybody else in the department could when it comes to doing paperwork. She's picked up administrative procedures and she's been able to follow step by step some of the operations that we need to do the office work, grant work, and administrative work, and she's picked it up. Uh, when I start with an employee, I throw everything I can and see what their limit is. And I still haven't found <laughs> Jessica's limit. <laughs> so with, with that being said, uh, this is the second year in a row that uh, she deserves the award. She's an excellent employee. She's studying to be a pharmacist. Uh, I wish she could stay longer, but uh, there'll be a day when we part ways. But until then, uh, West Miami should be proud to have her as a recreation staff. Thank you. Outstanding service and in recognition of your commitment to improving the quality of life and display of leadership. Congratulations, Eduardo H. Moinia, Mayor and West Miami City Commissioner. 
dated this fourth day of February 2015. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, Jessica. The next presentation. <laughs> The next presentation is the Mayor's Award for Excellence to the Employee uh, for 2014 to our City Clerk, Anneri Gonzalez. Anneri? Um, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yes. Legal. Legal. The legal mind. Um, I'm going to read uh, some some notes that I have been given by Mayor Moina for the record regarding Aneri Gonzalez and his selection for this evening. Aneri Gonzalez was hired by the City of West Miami in November 1996. She was employed as secretary for the public works director at the time. She was later transferred to serve as a secretary to the city manager. In 2009, Aneri accepted the task while serving as secretary to the city manager to assist in the office of the city clerk where she was exposed to the day-to-day -day duties of the office. While assisting, the city manager was serving as ex-official clerk herself. In 2010, after the passing of the then city clerk, Agneri accepted a temporary assignment as, the te um, as a city clerk. On July 21, 2010, Agneri was appointed by the mayor and city commission permanently to serve as a city clerk. She has accepted this assignment gracefully and efficiently. She has obtained her CMC certification through the clerk's association. Agneri has conducted several elections and has worked through a charter review process that resulted in ballot questions in 2014, and she has done an outstanding job with the guidance from our city attorney and, the city man and working with the city manager's office. Each year, the office of the mayor recognize it, recognizes those who walk the extra mile to excel and to serve. This year, and Neri Gonzalez has earned the Mayor's Award for Excellence for 2014. Thank Congratulations. You. Congratulations. <laughs> Mayor, if I may, before you read the plaque, I'd like to add something to that. I had the privilege of uh, inviting a Neri to apply for a job in the city of West Miami back in 1996. From the moment I met her, I knew that she was a, a shining star and a rising star within the city of West Miami. We've all gone through a lot of growing pains, but Aneri has always shown and demonstrated a passion for her work, a passion for the city, a passion to grow professionally and academically, and I could not think of a better person and more deserving of this award because this lady came to work for the city of West Miami without knowing English, folks, in 1996. We threw her back in public works where she responded to Mr. George Kulik, 
at and 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 God rest his soul, George spoke English only. So she was forced because of the need to work and the desire to move up and get ahead in life, she was forced to learn the language, okay? And she quickly mastered her skills, the language, and it just doesn't stop. Aneri tries to do the very best each and every day, and she's an outstanding employee. Mayor, congratulations to you on your selection. Uh, and, be, and before, and before, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, and before you say anything else, yeah, let me uh, uh, put my uh, two cents over there. I call the uh, city of West Miami on a daily basis, uh, perhaps uh, sometimes three, four, five times a day. Or more. Uh, or more. <laughs> <laughs> I always have some sort of issue, some problem uh, to resolve, and so on and so forth. And I want to uh, to put on the record that. Uh, uh, after uh, speaking to uh, to the manager, and uh, I have an opportunity to um, to communicate with uh, Aneri. Aneri is always ready, always uh, listening, always uh, able and willing to go, and uh, is one of the best employees that I have ever found. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, basically, I, I, this may be a long speech. <laughs> it's uh, with great pleasure that I present the Mayor's Award of Excellence to you, Anna Gonzalez, the lady from Santa Clara. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. And Mary is joined, and Mary Gonzalez is joined this evening by her husband, Ivan, a former employee of the city of West Miami, and by her three sons, Odigo, Eric, and Ivancito, my future city clerk in training here, uh -huh. sitting next to me. Um, and and uh, please join us in congratulating her son, Odo, on his birthday this evening, his 20th birthday. Well, okay. Ivan, guys, go up um, with your no, mom. No, no, let, um, I want to take a picture first with the commission and then with you and then with uh, Otto and Eric and my adopted son, Iran, and then uh, so on. <laughs> I, know it's <laughs> and I just want to say uh, thank you to this commission because uh, they supported me throughout the whole Ivan. process. Ivan, okay. Throughout the whole process of obtaining my uh, CMC certification, which stands for Certified Municipal Clerk, I'm wearing my pin proudly because I recently uh, obtained that certification. Also, I want to thank uh, Jolie and, and, and Pepe, the city manager and the city attorney, because of the because of her I'm here, because of Pepe's patience, I'm probably the, a city clerk. I always have something to learn from him. I always admire every day Jolie's patience and, and guidance in, in, in my, during the, the performance of my duties. And in this changing world and so many demands, uh, I, I always try to, to be the best and and to work for my city, which I love and, and, have, and have a passion for. So I thank this commission because, because of you, I'm the city clerk, with you, because you've supported me throughout the whole process. And so thank you. Thank you again. Vamos, Ivan. Come on. Otto, <laughs> Ivan, Otto, Eric, oh. Ivancito, Everybody. and her her stepson. Yes. This is Otto's friend, and I have been mine. Los grandes se ponen por atrás. Yeah, yeah, los niños grandes. He 
he's happy. I'm happy from now on. Otra. Si yo quedo bien, si no, no. Si yo que un vigor en unos minutos. Ah, sí, ya, ahora sí. Vaya, me da la No Let's take a five minute break, please. Pizza Hut. Okay, welcome back. Um, at this time, I would like to go back to the order of the agenda, and that will be item number five. That would be report of the city manager. Mr. Mayor and members of the City Commission, I apologize, I do not have a written report, but as you know by my email, the Arts Festival that is scheduled for March Saturday, March 14th, is taking a great deal of, of my time, and I publicly want to thank the Mayor for his, um, obviously, his enthusiasm and his leadership and for setting some parameters. I want to thank Commissioner Rhonda Rodriguez, Commissioner Blanca, and Vice Mayor Blanes and Commissioner Suarez for being so patient and understanding with the issues and for helping out and giving us ideas to work with. So thank you. And I know that we're going to pull it off and it's going to be a very nice event for the community. So as we get closer to the call for artists deadline, I will give you a, a memo with uh, a breakdown of the finances for the project, the corporate sponsorships, and again, the agenda. And I will be working closely with the mayor and his committee to um, to report back. Um, that being said, I'd like to, for the record, advise you that we are um, we are trying to comply uh, with a uh, special license, a CPR license uh, that we have to fulfill as part of our documentation <coughs> for the Children's Trust grant application um, for our community cent our recreation center staff. Um, Lieutenant Pete Delgado is um, actually going to be the, um, the CPR trainer. Next week he will be actually administering the training so that we can get um, approval from the state of Florida Department of uh, Children and Families so that we can move on with our Children's Trust grant application and so that we can continue to run a class one um, recreational after school and summer camp program. The next item is an agenda item, so I will wait on that. The next item I wanted to let you know is that, as you know, the auditors have been at the city doing their field inspection for the last um, six weeks or so. They are ready to wrap up their field um, sampling of the, um, of the documents for the city as part of their financial statement planning process. They're working now with grants before they make their exit. So we suspect that the report will be made available to the mayor uh, first and then to the city commission publicly. Uh, either the f We're shooting for the first meeting of April 2015. So. We hope that uh, they find everything in order, and I, I'm sure that they will. So that concludes my report for this evening. Thank you. Next item, report of the city attorney. Uh, members of commission, uh, Mr. Mayor, members of the commission, as you may recall, uh, in last uh, commission meeting, uh, there was a mitigation uh, action by the uh, city in the uh, Bertamati matter whereby the uh, commission, uh, if you can recall, and I may uh, refresh your recollection, there was a, this was a gentleman that uh, had a, uh, a breakage inside of the property and there was a staggering uh, bill, and the commission uh, sought to uh, mitigate the, the, uh, um, uh, that expense. And uh, we did not uh, have a resolution, a formal resolution, however, there was an action by the committee by the commission. Uh, in as much as we have to 
uh, I've been advised by the uh, manager, we have to document uh, this action uh, to the auditors. I would suggest that at uh, this point uh, you adopt the resolution, the resolution that was uh, uh, taken uh, in last commission meeting, non pro tonque that date. In other words, whatever action you take today would be uh, to reaffirm the action that you took uh, last commission meeting. So I suggest that uh, there's a motion uh, and approval of uh, that resolution. Okay. Need a motion? Motion. Need a second? Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Next item. Item 7, report of the city engineer. Good evening, Mayor, Commissioners. I uh, just want to give the, the Commission an update on where we are with two of the projects that are hot in the in the hopper right now, about to, about to break ground and start. Um, first of all, the FDOT lab project that we have, the uh, the traffic calming, citywide traffic calming, as I mentioned in our, in our last Commission meeting, I gave an update as to kind of the whole project and, you know, Finally, with these funds, we'll be able to finish our traffic calming program for the entire city. Um, where we are right now, uh, at, at, at our last meeting, we had just received bids and we had reviewed them. At this point, we've already selected a, the low bid contractor. Um, right now, we're pending the, the pre-bid meeting, I mean, pre-construction meeting, I'm sorry, to kick off the project, uh, get concurrence from FDOT, and get the project started. Uh, so right now, we're anticipating breaking ground on the project uh, March 1st. Uh, through the end of this month, we'll... we'll finish out all the activities we have to do with FDOT to, to basically clear the way and have us uh, start the project. Uh, so the, the second project in the pipeline is the Public Works uh, facility. Uh, where we are right now, we're still in the middle of the procurement process. There was a two-week uh, delay in the process just because uh, really the time frame that we had set for the design builders was, was not enough for them to put together a real quality package. Uh, this is a design build project, so it's a little different than what we're typically used to. We're actually hiring a firm that's going to finish the design and then do the construction. So it takes them a little longer to put together a proper proposal. Uh, so most of the firms requested an extension to the time, and we granted a two-week extension. Uh, so basically, right now, we're ex uh, expecting bids March, sec March 2nd, right, Juan? Yes, sir. March 2nd. Uh, it was originally February 16th. We pushed it to March 2nd, give them a little more time. Um, so at that point, we'll, we'll receive technical proposals that we'll, we'll grade. We give them actually a technical score, and then they'll actually provide a bid for the project. And it'll be it's, it's, it's a, what we call a best value. So you get the highest qualified firm and the lowest price, and we have this little formula that will basically give us the best value firm. So at that point, we'll, we'll select a firm, and we'll move forward with final design and move into construction. So that'll occur sometime mid-March. Mid We'll have a design builder on board. There'll be a design process, probably three to six months of design and permitting, and you know, at that point we'll we'll break ground and start construction. So that's that's where we are in the two major projects. Uh, the other projects I really don't have an update at this point. Those are still kind of progressing in the pipeline. So that's where we are. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Mm, no, no, not not at this no. time. Thank you. Uh, can I take, uh, well, let's, let's go back. Let, let's keep uh, the order of the agenda for, for the time being. Uh, number eight, committee <coughs> reports. Uh, no report at this time on my behalf. Anybody no. else? No. Okay. Next item, report of the mayor. No report on my behalf. Citizen presentation. <coughs> Anybody for citizen presentation? No one has registered to uh, present any issues to you as of this time. Thank you. Uh, next item, 10A. 10A, nomination of members to the Code Enforcement Board, Mayor and City Commission. Uh, do you remember whose turn? Yes, it was uh, Vice Mayor Blanes' turn to nominate an alternate to the Code Enforcement Board. And I'm happy to inform that I reached out to Ralph De La Rosa and he agreed to serve as an alternate and he also expressed in the future of uh, serving as a full-time uh, code enforcement board member so uh, he definitely wants to get involved and, and help us out so okay. I nominate Ralph de la Rosa okay right. excellent excellent Please all in favor you. say aye aye, aye. 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 okay any other do we need any other nomination no, no, no sir. okay no. next item uh, that will be 10b 
10B, report by the Office of City Manager regarding the credit line for the construction-related expenses of the approved Public Works Zoning Building Department building and motor pool area, and request for authorization to enter into a loan with Total Bank, City Manager. Okay, at the last commission meeting, uh, unfortunately, after the commission uh, took a vote, I realized that this item required a four-fifth vote. Last year, during the second commission meeting in April, and I believe it was April 17th from, from memory here, the commission approved that the, uh, my office to pursue a loan from Total Bank, which would be repaid by the city of West Miami through yearly payments appropriated in the various line items in the budget, half a million dollars for the construction of the public works building, uh, which we uh, are going to match with some money that we have already set aside for the construction. Uh, based on the construction estimates provided by our city engineers, we have realized that $500,000 was a little conservative. And so I come back to you this evening to ask you to, uh, to allow us to raise the $500,000 credit line application to $600,000 because the estimates for the construction were $667,000 based on the report provided to us and to you by T.Y. Lin International. That being said, if the bids come under the $600,000 plus the money that we have in the coffers, obviously there's no need to draw from the credit line only what we will need based on the bids when we open that. Um, so I come to you to amend that uh, previous authorization that you had uh, provided to, to my office through a resolution, which would be your next item, to allow us to apply for a, uh, a credit line. Uh, basically, this is a uh, construction loan. It has a maturity uh, uh, built in, a maturity factor built into it. It is a, uh, a very attractive um, interest rate, and I reported on all the particulars. I don't know if you have any questions at the last commission meeting. It is a 12-month uh, a uh, construction loan with an option to extend for an additional six months in the event that the construction is not completed within the 12 month window. The monthly interest rate only applies to that amount that we draw from the credit line and we'll only pay interest on the monies that we use during the term, the, the term of the construction. And then we would convert that into a permanent 10 year loan or 119 monthly payments of principal and interest with a final principal amount plus accrued interest uh, due at maturity. So the loan payments are then, once you convert um, the, the, the actual loan into the permanent status, the loan payments are to be based on a 25-year amortization schedule. There are no prepayment penalty clauses, and it is our goal to be able to pay for this loan within a 10-year 10, 10 window of time so that we don't leave the city in debt for a long time to come. The uh, construction period interest rate is 1% over the Wall Street Journal Prime, which is uh, the floor rate is at 4.75%. The uh, permanent loan would then go to 1% over the Wall Street Journal Prime fixed for five years, and thereafter, the adjusted and fixed interest rate for the remaining five years uh, will be the uh, whatever is prevailing based on the Wall Street Journal Prime rate plus 1%. Uh, we surveyed other banks in the community, and we found, um, we found Total Bank to be the most attractive proposal. Um, as you know, the city banks with Total Bank, and they have an excellent customer service policy. Um, they have reduced their um, closing cost estimates, and our application, uh, they have re um, the application, the inception fee, if you want to call it that, they have reduced it from $3,000 to $1,500. So they're helping the city in every way possible to make this happen. So at the last commission meeting, after you took a vote, we <coughs> realized that the code requires a four-fifth vote, which we did not have at the time that the vote was taken. So this is why the item is back here before you. That will be under Section uh, 3.06, uh, Procedure uh, Parent uh, 
C paren 2, uh, it says that a fair vote of four fifths of the city council shall be required in the following instances. One, two, three, it would be to borrow or uh, uh, to issue bonds or borrow money. Uh, Commissioner Suarez, you got a question? Uh, th this uh, money is going to be used, uh, we may call as a capital improvement, right? Yes, sir. So we may use part of the impact fees to apply to this. Uh, we we already have, a, uh, we have a, um, a reserve, we have what we call an accrual, which is a designated reserve, $150,000 reserve for this effort. The repayment of the balance of the work or the loan, if you want to call it that, or the outstanding debt will be paid in yearly um, allocations through the no, budget. My question is, part of the impact part. fee can be used in this amount Yes, sir. Yes, I sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, I need a motion. No, motion. I have to read the resolution. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you're absolutely right. Can you read the resolution to record, please? 10C, resolution of the Mayor and City Commission of the City of West Miami authorizing the City Manager to borrow the sum of $600,000 from Total Bank for the construction related expenses associated with the new public works facility building, providing for repayment schedule, providing for a match from reserves, providing for effective date. Mayor and City Commission. May motion. Second. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Next item, item D. Report by the city, by the office of the city manager regarding the city's comprehensive plan to include recommendation to proceed Ma city manager and director of planning and zoning. I will yield to Mr. Pena, but um, what, what we can tell you is, is that the city has been lagging because of financial predicaments in the past of addressing the issue of the comprehensive plan. We have gone out to Florida International University, whom we partnered with in the, in the past for the completion of the report. And Mr. Pena will let you know what is entailed or what is involved here <coughs> from a zoning standpoint so that we can move forward and present to you a recommendation. Mr. Mayor, Commissioners, actually we have met with uh, uh, Dr. Ned Murray and Mr. Ralph Rosado from FIU and we have discussed the uh, city's 2000, uh, year 2000 comp plan and 2005 year evaluation appraisal report and it is uh, completely outdated. Uh, we're in 2015, and we should have done one in 2010. Therefore, we will uh, review all the uh, changes that have occurred since then, as far as land use and other state requirements. And at the same time, we will uh, create a new capital improvement uh, uh, table for future projects for the city, and also take into account your, your vision as to where you want to take the city uh, forward. Uh, Dr. Ned Murray and Ralph Rosado are here if you wish to ask them any questions. Uh, in the past, we used Florida International University in the uh, 2000 and 2005 evaluation report. And uh, once we presented that to the state of Florida and the South Florida Regional Planning Council and all the other agencies that are involved, we uh, breezed through it at that time. Dr. Murray and Mr. Rosado, welcome to the city of West Miami. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sure. Um, I don't have any questions, but I, <laughs> I, I know I, I know you have a wealth of knowledge that you want to share with us, and uh, and that's why you're here. <laughs> well, just to get you for the yes. record, state your name and address on the on the mic for. Sure. Uh, Ralph Rosado, 3472 Southwest 22nd Terrace, Miami, Florida. Ned Murray, 1101 Southwest 17th Street, Boca Raton, Florida. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Um, in your packet, Mr. Mayor, if I may interject, there is a proposal uh, provided to the city by Florida International University, and it talks about the center, and it talks about the task, obviously the background of those involved, if approved, with our comprehensive plan review and also the proposed scope of the work. It talks a little bit about the different, and, and we've asked them to identify those uh, processes in tasks. And so this is an involved um, 
an involved uh, project, but I believe they have a benefit. I, I guess you're not starting, you're not laying the groundwork because the groundwork was done obviously by your office, uh, Dr. Okay. Murray, in the past. And so I think you'll have something to, to work with to get us where we need to be. Um, the comp plan is a, a, man, a mandate that each city must follow and it has to be approved by different regulatory agencies like the Miami-Dade County Public School Systems, the Regional Planning Council, Miami-Dade County Planning and Zoning and Advisory Boards and an array of other governmental entities. This is something that we have uh, taken into account when budgeting. We have reserved and designated the money to take on this uh, project. And we believe that um, FIU is probably uh, the best partner that the city can find to uh, to basically take us where we need to be with uh, to be in good standing with her, with the state of Florida. So that being said, if you could maybe just briefly go over the tasks involved to sort of acquaint the commission with this. Okay, either <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you, City Manager Aguilar. Um, the good news this time around is that there was ma a major uh, change to the legislation, Chapter 163 in the 2011 legislation, that has made it much more efficient um, as far as the review process and the submission process. So not only are we working with, with a plan and, and an evaluation appraisal report that we've already done working with you in the past, but we now have a review process both, both locally and at the state level that's going to be much more efficient. Uh, so that's that's really that's really good news for all. Even at the, even the folks at the state are very pleased with the fact that they don't have to go through all the data and, and all the analysis that that we used to have to go through prior to 2011. So so that's really the good news. Um, as Juan and and uh, the city manager had mentioned, the, the first thing we need to do is, is the evaluation appraisal report that was done in 2005 as the city manager and and, and Juan had mentioned. Um, you're, you're overdue, but, but you're on a new cycle, um, given the 2011 uh, legislation, but you are on the clock. Uh, you have a, an evaluation and appraisal report that's due by uh, October 1st of this year, 2015. Uh, obviously, our schedule here is, is, is really going to go after it. We're going we're gonna to get that done very quickly. Uh, we, in fact, we think we can, we can go through and, and, and review uh, your um, your comprehensive plan and come back with recommendations and updates uh, within 45 days so we can move that process very quickly and knowing that it's become much more efficient at the state level um, and we've already talked to folks at the state we think we can move this you know very quickly um, but we'll come we, so we think we can do that very quickly um, once we do that um, we'll have uh, what we would anticipate to be uh, some possible what they refer to as evaluation and appraisal report amendments, amendments that would to the comprehensive plan itself. And once again, as, as Juan had mentioned, these are things that you want to see done, changes to, to the comp plan, these the, the references air-based amendments. We obviously also have to, which, which I didn't mention, there's been a number of changes to the, to the statute over the years, and particularly changes that have occurred since 2011. So we have to update all those and include those in this package that we would send to the state. Um, the state has a, has a provision that once you submit your, uh, what, they're referring, what they're referring to the ear now is, is, is a, a letter of notification. And this letter of notification, which would come from the city and include your ear, your ear-based amendments and your updates, uh, would would have to all be done within one year. But but given I think your your timetable, you'd like to see this move quickly. Not only yes. our review, but then to expeditiously move forward on on the amendments themselves, so you can go go ahead and do some of the things that you want to do as a city. Once we do that. Um, and, and somewhat concurrently, um, but, but it'll, it'll take a little bit longer, is to, is to take that old 2000 plan and really update it, make it read a lot more readable, a lot more reader friendly. Um, I think eventually we can get rid of all the cross-throughs the cross 
and uh, and actually come up with a clean document that, that that she can have and we have a lot of flexibility now with that and, and so we can talk about that as far as how you'd like that plan to look the formatting what you'd like to emphasize we can update a lot of your, your population and, and and trend analysis I think that's something we would want to do um, to bring it up to 2015 and beyond so these are all things we'll do at that stage of the game but the first thing the first stage of the of the process is to is to do the review to do the evaluation appraisal report um, come back to you working with with staff and working with, uh, with with the community as a whole come back with with uh, recommendations uh, as far as amendments to, to the to the comp plan and all the updates that are required by law since, since the statute has been changed quite a bit um, and and then with that we'll send it off to the state and, and then we can commence right away with with actually going forward with those air-based amendments did i miss anything no. <laughs> okay <laughs> Any, any questions for? Yeah, I, I want to make a comment about the, I remember years ago, a couple of years ago, when we started here to make some changes. And I started to talk about the revitalization of the commercial area and those things. And going the high <coughs> possibilities of the, of the buildings. And uh, you was chairman of that group, that <coughs> committee. And uh, I remember that the complaint was essential it was necessary we we'll even wait you remember Yolanda we we'll yes, wait sir. for the Comcan to be finished in order to proceed to do those things and I think now the com plan for the city is the right moment to do it to complete it. <clears throat> because it's the way that we comply with the state now many things are coming about them about the parks recreation people number of residents and all those things comply is what set the parameters for the city to go ahead so i think it's the right place and i'm very happy that <coughs> finally we are in this stage that we can go ahead and do this uh, <coughs> by the way folks you have two individuals in front of you that are very humble they don't like to talk about themselves <laughs> but uh you have you have a perfect combination uh from a planning point of view from a practical point of view of of what you know what land use is all about what you know moving forward into the future and planning uh for the future was miami and uh, I'm, I'm i'm very proud to have you both you dr murray and ralph rosado and like i said uh it's a good combination because we have we have the yeah. the the uh the scholastical and also we have the practice and 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 it, they come ha hand in hand uh sometimes we we all about you know we're very book smart and 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 sometimes we're very practical but then when the two come together and I think I'm, I'm, I'm very very happy to see you guys uh, come together to the city of West Miami and uh, and I know you're gonna do great uh, I, there's only one thing I would like to ask and um, you know that that is very important to to involve young minds uh, students from the University of Houston I mean the uh, University of uh, Florida I went to University of Houston that's why I said that uh, and uh, one thing that I that one thing that I do uh, and I happen to be an architect that I do in my practice is always keep young people people that are currently going to school in in involved because it keeps you fresh it keeps you alert it keeps you you know they, they look at things differently uh, uh, you know and, and uh, always looking for a better solution uh, for the future and uh, we building here uh, not only the present but also the future for the city of West Miami for generations to come to to enjoy what uh, what we have planned for them and, you know and uh, I know that uh, for the longest time uh, I mean and I'm happy to sit in this war especially with Vice Mayor and Commissioner Suarez who who, who you know one day we we were looking at uh, you know how can we better the city was miami and uh and to see it happening uh it is a great joy and uh so i i will really enjoy working with uh you guys and uh into the future so thank you very much thank you Mr. any Mayor. anything that we need to do and uh in the order of the the Mr. agenda Mayor? um yeah uh, 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 vice mayor brief. vice mayor you, you took the words right out of my mouth i was going to say the same thing having mr rosado and mr uh, murray working together uh it's evident that we are in very good hands and i'm um, glad to have you ralph you. and again you mr Do dr murray thank you very thank much thank you Nitmer. yes 
Thank you. Um, Mr. Mayor, if I may, I did not see the resolution added to the agenda, and I believe that Mr. Villalobos will insist that there is a resolution authorizing my office to enter into an agreement with Florida International University, uh, waiving the uh, bid requirement because we are dealing with a public uh, university. Um, and so I, I think that um, Mr. Villalobos would agree that a resolution is in order, accepting their proposal in an amount of $37,000 to accomplish this work. We do have the money. Uh, we took this into consideration, and we have, over the last two years, been building up a reserve account to, um, to basically be prepared to pay for the comprehensive plan update. And so... I would encourage you to adopt a resolution to an enable this uh, partnership to begin. Okay. And it would be a resolution of the mayor and city commission of the city of West Miami authorizing the office of the city manager to enter into a contractual agreement with Florida International University for the purpose of completing, updating uh, the city's uh, 2010 comprehensive plan and the necessary arrangements to include the review of all zoning um, and land use ordinances in place. Motion. Uh, providing for effective date. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I look forward to working with you all. Absolutely. Once again, thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you, sir. Bye, Ralph. Thank you. Mr. Rosado, I like the pink. <laughs> <laughs> It goes with the last name. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yes. That's right. Back to uh, the. Uh, good, night, good, night. good night. Back to the agenda. I think we still have one item 11, 11 B. Yeah. Report of the Office of City Manager regarding the city's building official. City Manager. Yes. Uh, thank you, um, Mr. Mayor and members of the City Commission. You may recall that last year, time flies around here, we uh, des designated <coughs> Frank Alonso with the approval of this commission uh, to serve as the city's building official. Since then, our uh, very capable engineer, Frank Alonzo, has been uh, licensed or permitted by the state of Florida, and I don't remember the name of the regulatory agencies because of all the acronyms and all the changes in the state. Um, but there is a regulating agency in the state of Florida. Yeah, BCAIB. Which I'm sorry? BCAIB, which mm -hmm. is the uh, building, building Code and Inspectors Board. Okay, there we go. They gave you a temporary license for one year. Since then, Frank Alonso has taken on some educational courses but has not been able to complete the process to get a certification that will um, be a permanent one. Um, in doing this, we find that his um, temporary permit or license expires on February 11th, if I'm not mistaken? February 9th. February 9th, which is a few days from now. Um, Frank has made arrangements to travel to um, Orlando. Orlando to go before their board and ask for an extension of time because of the courses involved and the tests and the test materials that are involved with this license. It's taken, a, a, obviously, a toll on him and his professional life and obviously um, there is a, uh, a cap of three years that this board can uh, give him this temporary license. In the meantime, um, for us to be able to continue issuing building permits, we must have a building official that is certified. Uh, they do have someone on board, and her name is its a, a lady engineer. Surami Cabrera, who's currently our uh, structural plans reviewer. Surami Cabrera would be the individual that um, T.Y. Lynn, that Frank Alonso recommends, that we issue a temporary license or a ter temporary designation to the capacity of building officials so that we can meet the BORA standards and the state standards in terms of being able to continue 
processing building permits without interruption until Frank comes back with a um, with his license. The minute that he is granted the opportunity to continue serving as a building official through a license, then we would undesignate Ms. Surami Cabrera and redesignate uh, Frank Alonso as the city's building official. Um, but I did recommend to him so that he's not affected by this um, short window of time that he has uh, through a one-year renewal that he apply for the full extension that the state grants, which is a total of three years, uh, with the condition that he continues to take the necessary courses until he is certified. Motion? You need a motion for that? Uh, yes, sir. Motion? Second. Second. Okay. Uh, and by the way, Surami Cabrera it's, uh, is a very capable uh, lady. Uh, I, I have met her. I have worked with her before. And uh, good choice, yeah. by the way. She's actually, she's the city manager. I mean, I'm sorry, city manager. The building, building official for, for Bell Harbor, I think, Bell at this Harbor, time yes. as well. Yeah. So uh, okay. if I might add, uh, you know, the, 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 the lapse in time, uh, my license expires on the 9th. Really, the issue was that my license expired on the 9th. The board doesn't meet to the 11th. So the state wouldn't give me, if my license was expired, the board couldn't extend my license. They would have to actually reissue the license. So I have to go before the board and ask. So there's actually a time lapse of about three days at my, my, my uh, agenda item before the board is on the 12th. So okay. hopefully everything goes well. And by the 12th, there will be a three-day lapse where Tsunami will cover. So. Okay. okay. Well, thank you. Good luck. Thank you, Frank, and good luck thank to you. you. So I'll prepare that letter now that we have the blessing from the commission. We'll Perfect. prepare that tomorrow morning. Perfect. We need to vote. We need huh? to yes. Yes, yes. did. No. no, 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 we haven't voted. No, no, we need to. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Motion and second. Motion and second, but we haven't voted. Thank you, I stand correct. Because, uh, uh, okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, Elliot. Uh, last item on your agenda, Mr. Mayor. Go to the order. Good night. Good night. I do, I do. Right. Remind you that we have the art. Uh, <laughs> the Music and Art Festival, uh, May 14, 2000. March. 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 I'm sorry. March. Saturday. March. No, I scratched it over here. And I, I, I wish it was May so we had a little more time to plan it. But it, it's, it is March. Okay. Anything else? Uh, Mr. Mayor, if I may, just for the record, report that the city, city Hall will be closed on Monday, February 16th in observance of President's Day. However, we will have garbage collection as customary, and of course, police is, the service is never interrupted. Okay, thank you. Uh, motion to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Good night. Thank Good night. you.